Bill's Damer Hamlin addresses Jesus' jacket drama. Relationship with God is not tied to symbolic images. Hanlon faced criticism from Adrian Peterson. Buffalo Bills defensive back Damer Hamlin apologized for offending people over his Jesus-inspired Letterman jacket he wore at Super Bowl LVI, where he was honored and celebrated. Hanlon's jacket drew the ire of former NFL star Adrian Peterson, who called it blasphemous. The jacket featured what appeared to be an image of Jesus Christ on his left breast and a message on his right side that read, Without end or beginning there is no day, and there is no night. On the back of the jacket, it read, Eternal, with Jesus on the cross. After talking with my parents, I understand how my coat could have offended some people. It was never my intentions to hurt or disrespect anyone. The coat is abstract art to me. It says eternal, which I am eternally thankful to my Savior. Hamlin tweeted, My beliefs and relationship with God is not tied to symbolic images. I will learn from this and continue to walk in love as I always have. Peterson later said he spoke to Hamlin about his criticism. So I spoke with Damar, and we were able to discuss our thoughts as men. I want to be clear, I'm the last person to judge anyone, and that was never my intention, Peterson wrote. However, I do feel as if the jacket was disrespectful, and it was something that I needed to share. I do realize everyone makes mistakes and falls short at times, so again, my intention was never to judge, just to share my opinion. Damar, I have respect and love for you, and I wish you nothing but the best, but I just can't rock with that jacket. I feel like there are a lot of people, young and old, looking up to you, and with power and influence comes great responsibility. I apologize for offending you. I just felt offended in that moment as a man who loves and respects our Lord and Savior Yeshua. After speaking with Damar, I have an understanding that it didn't come from a place of ill intent. Hanlon appeared at Super Bowl LVI on Sunday night and helped honor the medical professionals at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center, who saved his life. Hanlon was celebrated in Arizona at the NFL Honors and Super Bowl weekend, as he continues to make progress in his recovery. He suffered cardiac arrest on January 2 during a game against the Cincinnati Bengals. He needed his heartbeat restored on the field and was rushed to the hospital.